the judge went through like a Pied Piper today and told those people who are currently living here that come next Tuesday, they should not be here because if they're here, they're going to be subject to arrest. You gotta be prepared to move. They'll be out here with vouchers. I and don't stuff. mind moving. I just don't know where to go. Like, well, we're gonna find a place. You, you talk point. to these two wonderful attorneys. I'm gonna explain okay, to you. Right this is very unorthodox and very uncharacteristic for a federal magistrate to leave the courtroom in Santa Ana and come out here on the riverbed. Very much. So. Hey, listen. You, you know, um, you know you're living next to. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Do you, vet friend, or you need help? Or uh, no, I'm okay. You okay? Yes, you okay? Yes. So you're one of the volunteers. You made guys, it huh? better for everybody, so you've helped us a lot. Yeah, well, I appreciate it very much. Take care of yourself. I'm overwhelmed and relieved. The stress, I feel the layers like it's going to be when I take a shower finally. It's just going to, the dirt's going to flake right off. We want to make sure that this riverbed is cleared out in a humane and empathetic manner. At the same time, this is not a place for people to live. It's dangerous to live here. It's a public safety issue. And so I think we've had a meeting of the minds with Judge Carter and the plaintiffs that in exchange for us making sure we do everything we can to find people currently living here, places to go, uh, and that they're treated humanely and empathetically, that he will support the county's efforts to clear the riverbed. We need a place to rest our heads. That's all we need. You know what I mean? They're going to be out here with some boundaries. Right, right. I just want it real clear the next Tuesday. You know, I didn't want people surprised. I didn't right, like the right. fact that you'd start getting excited the next day. Okay? Right, right. So, next Tuesday, you know the move's coming. Okay. okay. Like I brought it up to the judge, my main concern is what are they going to do with us after the 30 days? And I was told that the county has till Tuesday to figure that out. And the people of Orange County, especially the people that travel along this corridor, ride bikes throughout this corridor and live along the corridor, that they have every right to also be free from the blight and the danger and the public safety issues that are presented with the tent structures and all the people living here that are behind me.